find someone, anyone back there that can hold a candle to what I can do in that ring. They can even step foot in the ring, look me in my eye, and beat me. Then bring them out. If there's any man on this roster that has the guts, the will, the sheer force to come out here and face me, bring them out. Any. Move, move, move. Gonna be me versus you versus suicide bomber and a triple threat match versus this world that we champion. Let me add a stipulation on that. Elimination triple threat. So I can show that I can beat both of you and not just pin one. Next week, the bad read versus lights out E. One on one non-title match. Let's see if you really got what it takes. What do you say? I say to you. I say to you because I'm going to beat you. Don't put it here. I'm going to risk it all and beat you and Sue. You know, you know you BEW fans might as well just call me the BEW champion because I am potentially the BEW champion. But there's one thing that's missing, one very important thing, and it's the actual title itself. Where is it? Glad you asked. Whoever watched Genocide, they know where it's at. It's in the shoulder of the bitch Bad Reed after I was screwed over a genocide. I have the right mind to kick lights out of his ass and the bad read. But I tell you what, I have my rematch at risk it all, and I'm gonna whoop the living hell out of bad read and lights out e and capture the B-E-W Undisputed World Champion that I have came all this way for. This show will skyrocket. And when it does, me, Suicide Bomber, will be within the history of this company. See you at Risk It All. I'm back. If you recall the last time I represented this company, I was mistreated by all my peers and people I considered friends. I was screwed over. And there's one reason why I'm back. It's to destroy the BW and obtain the BW Undisputed World Heavyweight Championship. Regardless of who comes out, champion at the next couple of pay-per-views. Like Tupac once said, expect me, I'm coming. Ladies and gentlemen, risk it all in just three short weeks, a triple threat elimination match. Who will walk out the champion? Ladies and gentlemen, Cyber Splash, our live event. We keep promoting this because we want it to be big. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to tune in for that. Ladies and gentlemen, a new pay-per-view that's just been added to BW Communal is going to be big. Tune in for that. Ladies and gentlemen, in just three short weeks, the battery defense is BW Championship. The featherweight title will be debuted. The risk it all will be big. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Lights out E coming out to the arena right now. Looking to face the battery. 
last week in episode five he challenged a bad read and yes they're taking their um coming up with this challenge right now it's gonna be huge i can't wait to watch this match ladies and gentlemen And here Go. comes the world champ, the bad Go. Reed. He's been champion over 50 days now, over 55 days now, ladies and gentlemen, as a matter of fact. And he passed Suicide Bomber's first title reign up just a few days ago. The bad Reed is the third longest reigning BEW champion as of right now. Huge milestone. Fun fact for everyone. This title reign, the Bad Reed is currently under, has passed up both of his first title reigns combined. So let's see what we got here for our main event of BW Episode 6. I know you guys are excited to see Bad Reed and Lights Out Ego one on one, but I mean, we kind of know the winner. Because Lights Out E has never beaten the Bad Reed before, and they faced about five times. That pause it again? Last time they faced was a head basher of last season. The Bad Reed decimated Lights Out E and beat him. Bad Reed showboating. Lights Out E showboating as well. Both men are ready for this match. Lock up right now. Lock up. Test the strength. Both men locking up. Who will break out of this lock up first, you know? Battery twisting that arm. Armrich elbow to the arm. Lights out he didn't see it coming. Battery going for a clothesline. Lights out he ducks. Going for another one. No. Lights out he reverses into a reverse neck breaker. Huge reverse neck breaker by Lights Out E, ladies and gentlemen. Lights Out E looking to beat the Bad Reed for the first time because tonight, like Bad Reed said last uh, episode, Lights Out E has the chance to prove One, to everyone that two. he can beat the Bad Reed and show everyone that he's worthy of the BW Championship and to be in that triple threat. Anyways, because Lights Out E's record this season right now is 1-1. One one. He lost to Black Crow episode 2 and beat A.I. Owens. Uh, uh, genocide, ladies and gentlemen. So now he has the opportunity to beat the battery. This is going to be big. What's going on right now? Comes in. Battery going for another clothesline. Lights out eating knee to the gut. Bulldog! The battery's head smashed into the ground. A huge bulldog by Lights out eating. Lights out eating going up. What is he going up for right now? Goes to the top. What's he going for? Splash just falls on him. <laughs> Effective nonetheless two. and goes for cover the battery kicking out. He ain't going for that right now, ladies and gentlemen. Ever since we got new management, ladies and gentlemen, BW this season has stepped their game up to a whole nother level. And the insecurity by lights out E catching the battery where he stood and the battery fell right on his back. Lights out E going for the lights out E combo. Lights out combo. Going for that super kick. Huge super kick to the head. The bad reads out. He's out. He doesn't even probably know where he's at. He's probably asleep somewhere right now. I mean, he's probably somewhere in La La Land. So bad reed just got knocked the heck out. And what's lights out? He going for a suplex. You know you're not big enough to pick the bad reed up. Suplex by the bad reed. Bad reed kick up. Yes. Showboating once again. He needs to stop that. Yes, yeah, me. What's he going for? Picking him up for that back trap suplex. Yes, he's going to go for it. Capitalizes on the back trap suplex. One, going for the cover. Two. And a kick out by Lights Out E. Lights Out E showing tremendous resiliency in this match, ladies and gentlemen. Showing that he can hang with the big dogs right here. Super kick to the knee. Of Lights Out E. Super kick to the top of the head of Lights Out E. Lights Out E's dazed and laid out. Barry showboating once again. He needs to calm, he needs to calm it down. Strike to the head. What's Barry going for right now? Picking Lights Out E up. 
Going for the Super Dragon combo. The Super Dragon combo. The same combo he hit on the Suicide Bomber Genocide. And he's going for it again. And the mullet kicks. The kicks. The speedy kicks. The rapid kicks to the top of the head. Lights out these days. He uh, flips him over in a snapmare. Going for it. And a slap to the face. That's disgusting. Barry showboating. Huge elbow. What's he going for now? Barry smacks his forehead and says he's the best. It's cocky SOB. Leg drop. Leg drop. Another leg drop. A fourth one. And a drop kick to the back of the head of Lights Out E. Going for the cover. One. And Lights Out E kicks out. You know this little guy is not giving up that easily. He came out last week so eager to prove a point, and now Barry's striking him, showing who's boss. Lights out, he turns it over. Lights out, he's on top. Now he's beating him down. Lights out, he's hyped. What's he going for now? Barry holding that head. But as you've seen, when Lights out, he was striking him, Barry did cover his face to stop the momentum from the punches. Lights out, he pushes him off, ducks a clothesline. Jumping DDT, Barry landed on his head. That's Lights Out E's patented signature maneuver. It may be all over. Lights Out E moving that ladder. He looks like he's going for bad intentions here. He wants to hurt him even more. What's he going for now? Super kick to the head. The battery landed on his butt like a baby. He's laid out. Battery going up. For, I mean, uh, Lights Out E going up for that patented signature maneuver. V. Frog splash of lights out. E. He's almost at the top of the rung. He's up on that second. The last rung, it hits the frog splash. It's all over. One, One two, two. So the battery just kicked out to lights out. He's patented frog splash. I am so surprised. What the heck? Lights out. He can't even believe this. Seven minutes. Knee! Lights out, he tried to go for something. Barry Needham showing the great ring awareness. And a huge suplex neck breaker by the bad Reed. That was humongous. Going for the cover. One! And a kick out. Lights out, he seems that his head hit the knee of the bad Reed. Bad Reed, uh. Ooh, what the hell? Suicide, was that Suicide Bomber? I heard One. him say what he wants. Suicide Bomber, go for the roll up. He almost capitalized. Super kick to the head. Super kick to the dome of Bad Reed. It may be all over. No, Lights Out He's not going for the cover. Lights Out E wants to go for that knee. I know the knee taunt when I see it. He's going for that patented runny knee that he has put away every man that he's ever faced and hit on. He's put him away, and he just hit the Bad Reed with it. It's all over, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. Lights Out E proved that he is a better man than he has ever been before, and he beat the battery for the first time in his BEW career. Ladies and gentlemen, Lights Out E has been proving people wrong since he stepped foot in the BW, and what he just do, he proved me wrong here tonight because I thought there was no chance he could beat the battery tonight, and he's holding that title up. Could this be the fate of BEW? Come risk it all. Will Lights Out E be the first, be the first, uh, the first champion, the true champion of season four? Because Barry came in out of season three as champ. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching BW. Please tune in to episode eight. It's going to be huge.